I'm not at liberty to discuss. That's classified. How do you make a fight sequence look believable? The training is not so you do it for real on right. set. The training is so you get the feeling in your body. That is such a good response. And then you express it on set. That is it. <laughs> Save that, that answer. That is it. That's literally what it is. Because look, none of us, we're, we're not CIA agents, you know what I mean? It's a matter of not being timid. It's a matter of how much you believe that you are this person capable of these things. It's the conviction. I can kill anybody. The fight choreography, you know, was new to me. I've done it in films before, but like this is a whole film filled with it. And you're shooting different fights, and so it's very easy to, <laughs> you know, to get your right and your left confused, and like that makes a big difference to the person you're <laughs> performing with. It was challenging, you know, in every way, but that's also what made it so fun. Were you relieved or jealous you didn't get to fight in this movie? Relieved. relieved. We were chilling. Relieved. We were straight puppet mastering in that hangar in Long Beach, sipping latte, saying y'all can go run across the world and punch each other in the face. We're yeah, dead. all those actors were sweating, <laughs> getting injured, running around like crazy, and we were just arms folded at the trailers, like, <laughs> We brought the psychological violence. Is fight choreography harder than dance choreography? Well, I don't know. It's like I thought that the dance background that I have would help with this, you know? But I, I, I need those hammer pants. Those MC hammer pants just give you power, you know? When you don't have them, you just, it's just, you just, you know, that you just, it's not there. It is ostensibly dance. It's beats, it's rhythms, it's moments, and um, you know, you're only as good as your partner. If you have a partner who has to throw a punch right there, as long as you put the punch right there, I can parry at the last moment and we can make this all believable. Ryan was wonderful. He's a real humble guy, but, but he was great. The man's got some street cred. What makes Chris Evans the perfect action star? The range on this guy? Because he's, at this point, Hollywood's best villain, and he is known as Hollywood's best hero. And to hold both of those titles at the same time is insane. Right back at you, sunshine. I was surprised by how quickly he would pivot. He's very technically gifted, and he likes to be efficient on set as well because he makes strong choices. You know, Chris is two or three takes, and, and, and you're good. They know what they're doing so well, and what that leads to is maybe one take, and they say, got it. And you say, are you sure? It's intimidating. It requires trust, uh, but but they know what they're doing. What did you two bond over on set? Uh, we bonded over board games for a mm -hmm. second. Right. Uh, that was a, that was a thing. There was just like a natural. It was like we were pals. Right. Easily. We definitely you know. also bonded over acting. You know what astounded me about her is how much she knew about the camera. She knew everything on that set, and that was so impressive to me. He's coming for us, isn't he? If he can walk, I mean, it'll be through those double doors. Who would rise through the ranks fastest at the CIA? Reggae. He's extremely charismatic, and he's uh, very savvy. <laughs> I actually do think it would be reggae. Is that bad? Are you insulted? No, no, I'll take that. I appreciate you subconsciously calling me a sociopath. Yeah. In this broadcasted interview, thank you My so much. My friend. <laughs> <laughs>